Here at the Nerd is in, I've got a really easy way to go from base 10 to binary, and from binary back to base 10. Check it out. So as I go into explaining how to convert base 10 numbers to binary, base 2, or go from binary, base 2, back to base 10, let's make sure we understand how numbering systems work. So if I take a base 10 numbering, our numbering system, say 235, that's going to be 2 times 10 to the second power plus 3 times 10 to the first power plus 5 times 10 to the zero power. Or in other words, this is the ones digit, this is the tens digit, this is the hundreds digit. Because 10 to the second power is 10 times 10, that's 100. 10 to the first power is itself, so it's 10. And anything to the zero power is 1. So let's continue looking at this. 5 times 1 is 5. 3 times 10 is 30, as we expect. And 2 times 100 is 200. So 200 plus 30 plus 5 is 235. So that's how things work in our numbering system. Each digit is a higher power of 10 because we have 10 different digits. 0 through 9 is 10 different digits. So this is the 1's digit, 10 to the 0. This is the 10's digit, 10 to the 1st. This is the 100's digit, 10 to the 2nd. The binary numbering system works the same way, but we only have two possible digits. We have 0 and we have 1. So each binary digit or bit is a higher power of 2. So let's look at the number 1001 in binary and see how we digest that into a base 10 number in theory. Now I'm going to show you the shortcut way, the shorthand way of doing it, but let's understand the theory. So the lowest digit is 1 times 2 to the 0 power. That's this uh, this digit right, come on, right there. That's 2 to the 0 power. This next digit up is 2 to the 1st power. This digit is 2 to the 2nd power. And this 4th digit is 2 to the 3rd power. Well, the lowest digit is going to be 1 times 2 to the 0 power. Anything to the 0 power is 1. So that's going to be 1 times 1. The next digit up is going to be 0 times 2 to the first power, which is 0 times 2. And of course, anything times 0 is 0. The third digit up, this 0 right here, is 0 times 2 to the second power. And 2 to the second power is 2 times 2, so that's 4. So 0 times 4 is going to be 0. And then finally we have another 1. That's 1 times 2 to the 3rd power. 2 to the 3rd power is 8. That's 2 times 2 times 2. So each binary digit has a, it doubles. We have a 1, a 2, a 4, and an 8. So that's 1 times 8 is 8. That's a 0. That's a 0. 1 times 1 is 1. You add those two together, and that's a 9. So the binary number 1001 is 9 in our numbering system. Now this is the theory, but let's I've got a spreadsheet set up to show you how easy it is to actually do this if you do it the right way. Let me switch over to my spreadsheet. So the first thing I have in my spreadsheet is just to review, you know, right here. 2 to the 0 power is 1. Anything to the 0 power is 1. 2 to the first power is just 2. It's itself. 2 to the second power is 2 times 2, which is 4. 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 2 to the fourth power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That adds up to 16. And you notice every one of these, it's doubling. So we the lowest power bit in binary has a value of 1, 
The next one is a 2, a 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. We're going to take advantage of that fact to make it super easy to go from base 10 to base 2 and base 2 to base 10. So I have another tab here, the base 10 to base 2 tab, and I want to take the number 42 and convert it to binary. So all you have to do to be able to do this is get out a scrap of paper, and starting on the right-hand side, you write 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, because that's the value of these bits. Now, I just need to turn on the bits that add up to 42. So let's take the number 42, take a look at it here, and say, can I get a 128 from 42? No. That's going to be a zero. Here, let's format these. Let's make these centered to look nice. What about 64? Can I subtract 64 from 42? No, that's going to be a zero. Can I get a 32? Yes, I can. That's going to be a one. So now from my original number, I have to subtract 32, and that's going to leave 10 remaining. So this bit right here has satisfied 32 out of my 42. So I've got 10 left. Can I get a 16 out of 10? No, that's going to be a 0. Can I get an 8 out of 10? Yes, I can. So that's going to be a 1. So now we got to say minus 8, and that's going to leave 2 left over. So 8, the 8 bit, is turned on. Now, can I get a 4 out of 2? The answer is no. That's going to be a 0. Can I get a 2 out of 2? Yes, I can. I can get a 2 out of 2, so that bit is going to be turned on. So that's going to satisfy 2 more of my number. That's going to be, excuse me, minus 2. So that's going to leave 0 left over. Now once you hit 0, all the remaining bits are 0. So this is my binary number. This is my conversion to binary. It's going to be 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. That's the binary of, let me make this a little bigger, of 42. Because, and you need the leading zeros, okay? It's 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. It's 8 bits. So always put the, if you don't see the leading bits, if you don't see the leading zeros, you see I've only got 6 bits showing right here. There's two zeros in front of it to get up to 8 bits. So that, that's all you got to do to convert any base 10 number between 0 and 255. This works for numbers between 0 and 255. Now I have a little formula over here that lets me check my work, but I was just hiding it from you. Now if I want to do a new problem, I'll come here, I'll delete this. Let me set these back to black. Let me set these back to black. And let's pick a new number. Let's pick, uh, let's pick 72. I want to convert the number 72 to binary. So come here with my 72. I'm starting with 72. And I say, can I get 128 out of 72? The answer is no. So that's a zero. Can I get a 64? Yes. So what you're trying to do is turn on the bits right here that add up to 72. That's all you got to do. So I turned on the 64 bits, so I need to subtract 64 from my number, and that's going to leave me 8. I've got 8 left over. So I can't subtract 32. I can't su subtract 16. I can get an 8, so that's going to be a 1. So now I've got to come over here and subtract the 8 from what I have left over, and that's going to be 0. And since I have a 0, these last three are going to be 0, 0, 0. So 72 in binary is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. That's all you got to do is turn on the bits that add up to 72. Now, up here, I just put the powers of 2. 2 to the 0 power is 1. 2 to the first power is 2. 2 to the second power is 2. But we really don't care about that. All we need to do this problem is write the numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 on a scrap of paper. 
and turn on the bits that add up to the number we want. That is all you have to do to convert base 10, our numbering system, to binary so I can see the bit pattern and I can check under my cheat sheet and see that it was a 72. Let me do one more and then we're going to switch to going from base 2 to base 10. We're going to go the other way. So let me do 135. Ooh, there we go. Let me get everything reset. I'm going to set all these back to black. Zero these out. Now, so let's start with 135. I've got 135. Can I get a 128? Well, yes, I can. So now I have to subtract 128 from 135, and I'm going to have 7 left over. So I cannot get a 64. I can't get a 32. I can't get a 16. I can't get an 8. I can get a 4. Now, some of you can jump ahead and go, well, 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7, so these three are going to be turned on. But let's go through it one step at a time. I'm going to turn on the 4 bit and say minus 4, which leaves 3 left over. I'm going to turn on the 2 bit. So now I have to come over here and say minus 2. That's going to leave 1 left over. So finally, I turn on the 1 bit. And 1 minus 1 is, of course, that is going to give us 0 left over. And we're done. So here is the binary for 135. And I can double check my work. I can say 128 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 135. I can do the math and I can look at my cheat sheet too. See, I got it right. So this works for any number up to 255. 8 bits. If all 8 of these are turned on, all eight of these are turned on, it's going to add up to 255. That's the biggest number you can store in 8 bits, 255. And so when you look at an IP address, like if I looked at an IP address 192.168.1.100, all of these numbers are going to be able, each of these numbers, the 192 is going to be able to fit in 8 bits, the 168 is going to fit in 8 bits, etc., etc., so we just have to worry about going up to 128 to do these conversions. Pretty straightforward. Now, let's look at going the other way. Let's go, go to this tab, and we will go from base 2 to base 10. We're just going to go back the other way. Now, once again, I just had this here so you can see it, you know, the, the eighth bit, we got the zero bit, one, two, three, we got, it's one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. So this bit is two to the seventh power, which is one twenty-eight. Now, once again, I don't need that. All I need to do this problem is get a piece of paper, scratch from right to left, one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. Now I've got these bits right here. One, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. There's the bits. Let me center them to make them look nice. So all I got to do is take the bits that are turned on. I've got the 128 turned on. The 64 is turned on. The 8 and the 4 turned on. All I have to do is add these up. So 128 plus 64 plus 8 plus 4, and I can magically do this in my power, and the in my head, and the answer is 204. So I'm actually cheating, because if I click, drag, select a group of numbers in Excel down on the title bar, see down here it says sum 204, and I can also look at my cheat sheet 204. So that's all you got to do to go back the other way. Real easy, all right? So if I clear this out, Let's get another binary number. Let's do 1111000. Eight bits, right? So we got 1111000. So these four bits are turned on. So I've got to add up these four numbers. So that's going to be 128 plus 64 plus 
32 plus 16. If I add these four up, that's going to be 192, 224, 240. Okay, well, I happen to know the answer to this one. I, I've done this enough. But if I look at these four numbers, these bits, this bit has a value of 16, this bit has a value of 32, this bit has a value of 64, and the highest bit has a value of 128. Add those four together, and the magic answer is 240. If we add these up, we get 240. Now, let's do another one. Let me clear these. Let me set this back to black. I'll do one more. And this time, let's do uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So that's going to be three zeros, a 1, a 1, a 1 one and a one. So these are the numbers I need to add together to find out what it's worth. So that's going to be 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. So 16 plus 8 is 24, 28, 30, 32. I mean 31. It's going to add up to 31 if I add those four numbers up. You see, let's hit my cheat sheet. It's 31. Now there's a shortcut you can do. If, if a group of lower bits is turned on, all of them are turned on, so in this case, these are all turned on, you take the number above that, the next number to the left, and subtract one. So these five bits, if they're turned on, they're going to be 31. So if this bit is turned on, and I go to add all these up, so, you know, I've got one more bit, I've got 0, 0, I've got six ones. If these are all turned on, I look at the number above it, and that is 63. Because if you go to the trouble of adding them up, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. If you add these up, here, let me turn off my underline. If I add those up, it's going to be 63. So that's just a shortcut you can take when you're doing this. But that is how you go from base 10 to base 2, and from base 2 to base 10. Pretty easy. As long just realize, just remember that each bit is a higher power of 2, and then you're home free. Well, that is going to do it. So if you liked this video, and you think you'd like other videos of this type, you could like and subscribe to The Nerd Is In. Thanks a lot.